Alright, so here we are for part 10 of Let's Play Deadly Creatures. We're going back, we're going to play as this tarantula again, as you can see by the picture. Um, awesome. I like the tarantula. And I'm happy to be playing, happy to be playing as him again. Uh, we are... Although it seems like we're going underground, this level does not actually take place underground, as you can see. Um, this little section gets somewhat confusing because you fly all over the place, you're never really sure whether you're up or down or on a wall or something. It's pretty... it, it gets kind of confusing. Uh, this is the first run-in with the lizard playing as a tarantula, and it's the first time I think I used that web attack on anything successfully. As you can see, it kind of stuns them. It, uh, doesn't help a lot, but I guess that all depends on how you're going to play. Um, if you do, it is a way for you to be able to sneak up on an enemy, so it doesn't, like, because any enemy will know you're there the moment you, like, get into its little field of like once you get into aggro area and um so it kind of gives you a good chance to attack uh you get, you get a cheap attack in right away so that's good um right no I wasn't here that I got confused but in a little bit so as you can tell we've been we were here before as the scorpion I say that because you can, we ran into the skull once before. I try to go over to that web, but it does not let me. Because there's that dust cloud in the way. Which I didn't notice when I was shooting the web. So I try a second time. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just look around for place. Yeah, I guess I don't. So, I see one of those tarantula hawks down there. And I try to test out. Uh, he could tell I was there, because, um, I'm not sure if you guys could hear it, but the music starts up where an enemy knows you're there, but it didn't do anything about it, because it, it can only attack when it's flying, and it can't really crawl up to me very well. It's a lot harder to fight these things as the tarantula than it is as the scorpion. I'm not sure why. Um... I think it's because I kept trying to use that web, and it was not working. And I guess with the scorpion, even though I didn't do it, um, it is possible to block against them and then attack them when they come down at you. But maybe I was just I just had more luck when I was the scorpion. Either way, I just keep uh, trying to jump attack them. A problem with the tarantula, of course, is that you only have that one attack and then the waggle attack in order to hit things. And usually you're not, when you're, especially when you're up against three, you don't get, have much time to get the waggle attack in. Have to, and the uh, regular attack, it doesn't have a lot of uh, range to it. So you have to use the jump attack in order to get them, because it kind of homes in a little bit. Um, so it kind of goes into a cinematic view, so you guys can't really see what's going on. So I don't know why it goes into the view like this. I guess so you can keep an eye on all of them. You'll notice that only one dives at a time, which is nice, because you don't have to worry about, like, getting attacked from all three angles. But once one lands, another one is free to dive whenever it pleases. So, it's best not to just try to, uh, wait for one to land and then run up to attack it, like I probably do at some point. Because you'll just get attacked from behind, and poisoned. When they dive down with their head forward, it means they're going to land like that. But if they come at you uh, with the stinger, they'll, they'll raise back up in the air like that one just did there. It kind of looked like it was diving down with its head at first, but then right before it attacked, you could not right before, but as it was coming down, you could see it put its stinger out first, and that means that it's not going to land. It's just going to bounce back up into the air. So I try to go this way, which is the way the scorpion came in here, but you can't, obviously. I mean, it just showed us the way out, so... Um, so 
So we're gonna go over there, I guess. Huh. And shit. So suddenly these spiders can dodge. Which I don't remember them being able to dodge earlier. But I guess they can. And this one's really good at it. I'm wondering if I can dodge. I gotta check out my moves list. I learned that I could do this. I did not know I could do an overthrow. I don't remember seeing that. But it's a good way to knock enemies on their back. I also learn this. If you press A and then hit and hold A and then waggle, you'll do a double strike. Uh... Same thing with buzzsaw there, and then web jump. So I learned three attacks by going into the move list. Three attacks I didn't know I had. Um, I'm not very good with those double strikes. I try using them, doesn't work out too well. Um, but that flipping one, the uh, attack then wave up and down, that works pretty well. I end up using it quite often later on. So I'm looking for another way to go, and then I realize, oh, and I get kind of lost. Because looking for these webs in these levels can be tricky. Although, for the most part, I'm pretty sure it's just because I'm blind when it comes to doing this sort of thing. I can never notice things that are in plain sight. So, I'm just looking around for grubs in case I miss any of them. I know that I've already missed quite a few, I'm sure, but, you know, might as well just look in such a big space you'd expect to find them, but there were none there. Let me run into those, yeah. So we get a quick cutscene of this wide open space, and there's a save point right ahead of me, which is where I'm going to put an end to part 10, and I'll see you guys in part 11.